Yo, yo, yo! Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to go over the top five places that you can put your camera in your car to provide the most cinematic footage while you're driving. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to get yourself is a Gobi tripod. These Gobi pods are perfect because they have a 360 head on the top. You can move them all around as well as they've got three legs on the bottom, which makes it really easy to position throughout your car. So these are definitely something that you need to purchase. Once you've got yourself one of these, you can pretty much put your camera anywhere in your car. So we're gonna go over those positions now, but if you need to pick up a Gobi tripod, I put a link in the description below. It'll take you to Amazon. You can grab yourself one of them, and then you can get all the same positions in your videos that I do in mine. So let's get started with position number one. One of the most important things to remember before you get started is do not do any of these camera positions while you're driving. Make sure that you're parked, you position your camera, you hit record, and then you start your drive. We want everybody to stay safe out there. So here we go with our first position. So one of the best positions is the driving position. Gives you a great shot of the highway and the front of your car very very simple position just place your camera on your dashboard like that and there you have it this next position i like to call the rear view mirror position what you're going to do is you're going to use the visor on the passenger side of your car and you're going to pop on your action cam to the mount just like so okay so have a look at that there that's how it's mounted and then you're going to position the camera so that it actually hits your rear view mirror. So this is a great position because you're actually able to see me as well as able to see what's going on on the front of the road and hear this awful crazy noise that we have going on in this car wash. Also, I think I need to clean the lens. There we go. So what you get, the awesome part you get with this position is that everybody's able to see your eyes in the mirror as well as see the road. So this is one of my favorite positions as a driving position. Works really, really cool. So definitely give this one a shot. Okay, so now that we have the first two awesome positions down, let's look at the third position. Now part of having the camera mounted up in your visor is you get the rear view mirror shot, but you also have the ability to turn your camera around and get a reverse shot as well. So I'll show you guys that one now. So with this position here, you actually are able to film out the back of the car as well. So you can get the front of the car through the rear view mirror this way. We'll just fix that up like so. Or you can spin it around to the back. But one of my other favorite positions is actually just pointing the camera at myself while I'm driving. So we actually have three positions up here. So we'll call the rear view one a little bit of a bonus position so we get to our total of five today. The fourth position that we haven't gone over yet is if you don't have a passenger, you can use the side seat. So I like to set up my camera on the side seat here like so, usually facing something interesting like the gear shift. So if I'm actually going to use the Tiptronic on the car and I want to shift up and down through gears, I'll throw the camera down here facing the gear shift just to give you that extra little feeling that you're driving with me. Okay, and now for our fifth and final position while driving is the side view mirror. So to do the side view mirror position, you usually have to roll down your window. So let's do that. And what you want to do is you want to place your camera kind of clamped over top of the window. So I'm just going to do that and I'll show you guys what that looks like. So with this camera position here, I usually like to hold on to the camera because nobody wants to lose their camera out the side of the window down the highway. So here's kind of what it looks like right here. And then you're going to place your hand over the camera. Now the key is, is that you want your camera showing what's happening in the rear, uh, the side view mirror. Okay, so face that camera in the side view mirror. Make sure it can see what's going on behind you. Clamp your hand down on it like this just to keep it from flying out the window and you're good to go. I think I might have to change the title of this video to the seven best camera positions while driving. This is another bonus position I'd just like to add. It's part of the visor series of positions. 
and this one is out the sunroof. This looks particularly cool if you're on the Gardner Expressway in Toronto and you're going past the CN Tower, you'll get some really cool shots out your roof. Or possibly if it's nighttime and you're in the middle of nowhere and you can see the stars, that might be another cool way to use it. So if you have a sunroof, you also have this bonus position right here, number seven. There we go. All right, thanks for watching today. That were seven different places to mount your camera inside your car to get some cinematic B-roll and driving shots while you're out on the road. Again, make sure you're safe. Set these camera shots up before you start driving. Don't do them while you're driving down the road. And you will have some really cool B-roll footage ready to put together for your vlogs. Thanks again for watching today, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Smash a like if you liked what you saw. And until next time, take it easy out there. Hey everybody, thanks for watching today. Smash that like button to send us some love. Hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hope your day was full of awesomeness.